Hey, good morning, friends. Welcome to this special edition of a What I Eat in a Day video. So, good morning. We're going to do a What I Eat in a Day video because it's been a while and we did a long stretch of those where we went through like every day, every day, every day. We did it for like 45 days and getting some feedback that people actually really like that. I'm not going to do it every day because it's a lot of effort and also not as productive as I feel like it could be. But I think that since today's kind of a special day, anyways, it's perfect. No, I'm not going to tell you. Although, as this video releases, you'll probably see releases from many other keto channels. And so I suspect you may already know my secret surprise. But, so, simple this morning. It's just some ground meat in some broth. I uh, can't really see the broth because it's not a ton of it, but it's in there. And it doesn't seem like some kind of elaborate meal, but let me tell you, I'm on my antibiotic, it is tearing me up, and I am looking for that comfort and that warm uh, beef stock, bone broth, whatever you want to call it, is combined with the, grind, the ground meat is super, super comforting. I also have uh, four slices of this very thin sliced pickled daikon radish. So uh, I love this. Uh, you buy it in the Asian market. It's one of my favorite things to pick up. And uh, it, it's just delightful. It is a fermented food, so it helps. It's very nice with your uh, your gut health, all of that stuff that you get with like your pickled kimchi and all of the, the whole nine yards. So that and ask for everyday coffee because I have a meeting coming up real soon. And let me tell you, everybody's going to want me to have it 100%. And Electrolytes. This is the element. It is the mango chili, one of my very favorites. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, mm. but it is mine. Oh, it takes me back to some childhood memories. So, uh, also, I'm just going to throw in here maybe a little bit of shade, but I keep seeing people posting and freaking out about the electrolytes and the flavored electrolytes, about whether they have maltodextrin. Let me tell you, they probably do. I mean, I know they do, but, and, and while it's not an ingredient you want to have, the amount that they have in there is less than a pin drop, less than the head of a pin. It is so minimal. I assure you, it is not spiking your blood sugar. So please stop. It is not. It just can't. It can't. Uh... It doesn't have the properties to cause a blood sugar spike, even with the merest teeny tiny bit of the resistant maltodextrin. So enjoy it if you want to. Of course, you don't have to. I don't dictate what you eat or ingest, but uh, just some facts there. Uh, it's not it's not the culprit if you're having issues. That little teeny teeny teensy bit uh, is not enough to cause your problems. So keep that in mind, and if it's something that you enjoy, uh, guilt-free. If you don't enjoy it, then uh, don't have it, of course. And if you have allergies to citrus or something like that, obviously, very definitely don't have it. But assure yourself, you're okay. It's not a diabetic impact. Even if you are severe type 1, it's not. And I'm not a medical doctor, so I know, you know, oh, be careful, Matreya. Don't give medical advice. But I... Uh, Take it to your doctor and show them and let them tell you. Uh, they'll probably tell you, like, a whole gram of salt. What's the matter with you? But uh, as you know, we set our electrolytes with keto. And uh, I just got to tell you, I'm looking forward to my food later today. I can't wait to share it with you. Uh, so I'll see you soon. All right, friends. So here we are for my next meal. 
well it's really kind of like a, a mini meal but we're gonna have it it's hot so i'm gonna bring i have my baked eggs with the butter uh let's see if i can tilt it quite enough no i can't quite get it so you can see the butter i don't want to pour butter on my laptop that would be bad but trust me delightful so and then i've got one of my buns with some uh, spreadable cheese so that's our next meal and of course i'll having some more electrolytes and then we'll be ready. I'm going to have one more uh, bit of eating a little bit later. And that's where our big surprise will come in. So I'll see you. And I hope that you're enjoying these. If not, because it has been a while. And if not, well, you know, that's why there's fast forward. So we'll see you in a little bit. Bye bye. Hi, right, everyone. So here we are. My last meal of the day. And as you may have guessed, since there have been lots of hints, it is the return of Keto Chow's Raspberry Cheesecake with a new formulation. They've been talking about it for quite some time, that they couldn't get the flavor just right. And then they said finally that even this version, the 7.0, or the 2.7.0, is not the same as the previous Raspberry Cheesecake. Um, I don't know if they're worried about it. Let's find out. Uh, the original raspberry cheesecake, or at least the last version, the 2.6 point whatever, um, was still one of our very favorites. Everybody here in the house loves it. Uh, we've been out for a bit, so we've been waiting for this. But uh, so, and Keto Chow very kindly sent me a couple samples and said, uh, try it out, and but don't say anything until Tuesday at 11.30. So here it is, Tuesday. And now it's late in the afternoon, but I'm going to post my video at 11.30. And so I took my uh, one of my two packets of raspberry cheesecake, and I divided it up into three, three different preparations. So I have regular shake. And you can see it's a, your standard, it's just like the regular raspberry cheesecake. Uh, the color is weird on my laptop. I don't know. It's not violet. It's that same kind of pinky purpley look that it had before. I took one third of the shake and I've got it in the Ninja Creamy. It's not half eaten because there's only a little bit in the pint container. When you spin it, it brings it all up on the sides, but you can see. And then I have my uh, little magic bullet blender and I made a pudding. Mmm. I probably should try the shake first, but since I was excited by my pudding, I wanted to uh, need a little stirring. So because it was one third, I may have over gelatinized it, but not bad. Sorry to make like a bunch of stirring noise. Hmm. I really love pudding, in case you couldn't tell. But let's let's try it. It's good. Now, it's definitely exactly what the, the owners at Keto Chow said. It's not quite as raspberry forward. It's more of the uh, cheesecakey, cream cheese, creamy forward. So the raspberry is a little more subtle. But I still think it tastes pretty darn good. And uh, now I have to order the big bag again because my family will be uh, very, very, very excited to have it back in stock. And I don't think anybody's going to have any issues with the slight flavor change. Oh, it's really good as the ice cream. Mmm. So normally the ice cream mutes the flavors. I think this actually brings out the cream cheesy flavor a little bit more. And just so you know, with these, with the, except for the addition of the gelatin, so I made my shake, which was a little bit of heavy cream and then the keto chow and water. Like, I mean, I didn't deviate. I didn't add no extracts. I didn't do anything because it was the first time trying the new formulation. And I felt like that was the best way to be uh, honest and unbiased. So uh, for the pudding, I took one third of the shake and I added it to my Nutribullet, which to which I had bloomed a half a scoop of the unflavored beef gelatin 
and half a tablespoon of butter and a little bit of hot water. I uh, bloomed the gelatin and then I microwaved it to melt it all together to make that gelatin slurry. Added the shake into it, blended it, threw it in the fridge, and then I reblended it to get my pudding. After a set, I reblended it. Uh, otherwise, you get like this weird gelatinous cube of keto chow, and I find that unpleasant. I really prefer it to be reblended to get pudding, a pudding texture. So, uh, I am not disappointed in any way, shape, or form. And I don't get any paid paid from keto chow. And I know that in keto circles, we talk a lot about like, oh, eat real foods, don't eat processed foods, don't eat this, don't eat that, don't eat, don't, don't, don't. So listen, I can't live like that. I work 12 hour days sometimes, I'm up at the ridiculous hours of the morning, things are ramping up. And okay, so like 15 years ago, uh, protein shakes and stuff like that might have been more like athletes and maybe it was more of a weird thing but these days uh, a protein shake is not an unusual food a meal replacement shake is not an unusual food a lot of times people use a protein shake as a meal replacement and it's not adequate nutrition so the keto chow has added the adequate nutrition and it's uh, ketogenically uh, optimized so listen, I'm not going to feel bad about it, and I will 100% support this product. Uh, it's great. I've seen them do a lot of good for people in general. Uh, I don't have any sort of problems with it, digestively or otherwise. Uh, I know some people do. Uh, the teaspoon of gelatin often seems to help an awful lot of people with that. But I'm getting a great deal out of this. And on times like this when, listen, this all took me about like five minutes to prepare. Five minutes. So it's certainly very, very, very convenient. And that's what it's for. So I will support this 100%. And I'm not monetized. I don't make money off of the products, whether I love them or hate them. So that's my thing here right now. And I do really enjoy Keto Chow. They are... Um, it's a tremendous help for me. All I can say is they're probably big supporters of uh, me being successful in my ketogenic journey. So there you go, Keto Chow. Raspberry Cheesecake is back. They probably, I'm assuming, although I don't know for a fact, that by the time this video posts, it's going to be for sale. So if you have been wanting your Raspberry Cheesecake, you should be able to go and order it. And if not, it will be available very, very soon. Uh, it's good. So now I'm going to go eat my ice cream before it melts, drink my little bit of shake, and eat my pudding, you know, one weird dessert fest of a meal, and feel perfectly great about it before I go to Home Depot and buy a chainsaw so that we can start chopping up the tree that fell in our yard. So you have a great day. Keep trying. Now you know you've got something good to look forward to, and I hope you enjoyed this special edition of What I Eat in a Day. You guys, my food was delicious today. See you soon. Bye-bye.